Hi, the Mexican Defence or the Black Knight's Tango is a system I know very little about, although I have heard it discussed by Alex Yermolinsky. This trap is the Mexican hairless, sharing its name with Mexico's famous hairless dog, with the unpronounceable name that starts with an X, the Xolo Itzquintli, or the Xolo for short. After d4, knight f6, the Indian, c4, black can try knight c6, the Mexican defense. If white wants to avoid overcommitting himself in the center by pushing the pawn to d5, he can also try knight c3. And here black strikes back in the center with e5, reminiscent of the Nimzowicz defense. So after d5, now hitting that knight, the knight drops back to e7. And e4, white gets a total hold of the center. The knight now relocates to g6, and these are all logical moves played by both sides. After bishop d3, black can try bishop c5, and that bishop rains down a lovely diagonal. This is where white can go wrong. I have this position well over 100 times, and knight f3 here has got to be white's best try, and with about an equal position. However, in order to not block the f-pawn, which may be slated for an eventual break, and maybe to discourage a future bishop g4 pin, white has tried the blunderous knight e2. And here black wins after the move knight g4. Black now is hitting f2. And if white continues to drag out the suffering with castles, he will no doubt face queen h4, hitting f2 again. And the game may continue h3, obviously to prevent the mate on h2, which is the primary threat here. So white will play h3. Knight takes f2. Rook takes f2. Queen takes f2. Check. And black is well on the way to a well deserved win. So this has been the Mexican hairless, a trap in the Mexican defense. Hope it was informative. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.